Well, welcome everybody to Life Nuggets, man, hallelujah, on this awesome, lazy Nate hurricane Sunday afternoon uh, here in the uh, Birmingham area, and it's been an awesome day. Of course, I know a lot of folks uh, didn't have church, and uh, we uh, uh, didn't have it, so I had a wonderful morning hanging in with Brother Sheet and Sister Pillow, amen. And, of course, having blueberry pancakes and eggs uh, with Mother and Cherry. And we just had an incredible service ourselves this morning. But in my Bible study this morning, I want to talk to, talk to you about an incredible uh, anointing, the river of God, and what the river of the Holy Spirit uh, will do for you as you go from ankle deep to knee deep to waist deep to rivers to swim in. Amen giving God complete control and how he can bless your life. Now, in Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, in Ezekiel 47, uh, an angel brought Ezekiel to the door of the temple and flowing eastward, and uh, the temple was passing by the right side of the altar in Ezekiel 47, even if you want to turn there on this Sunday sermon. Now, he brought Ezekiel to outside the wall to the north passageway and where he saw the stream of the river flowing along the south side of the eastern passageway. So Ezekiel's with an angel. The angel carries him to the temple and Ezekiel sees this mighty river flowing. Amen, this stream flowing. And then the angel went before him, the man went before him. And he measured and took him 1,500 feet along the stream. All right, and it was up to the point where the water was up to his ankles. Now, in my studies, when that signifies, let's just say, salvation. So the water is up to his ankles. Then the man took him another 1,500 feet along the stream and told him to go across that point. And, of course, it was then up water up to his knees. Now, again, he's in the, the water, he's in the river, it's ankle deep, then it's knee deep, I mean, say knee deep, knee deep, hallelujah, and uh, we can say that is salvation, where you get in the water, you get in the river of God, amen, it's going over your feet, man, it feels real good, you know, you go a little bit deeper, amen, get touched by the power of the Holy Spirit, it's, it's knee deep, and then the man measured off. Another 1,500 feet. I'm living out, reading out of the Living Bible today. And all of a sudden, it was up to his waist. And that's like sanctification. That's like growing close to God. So, amen, is Ezekiel's ankle deep. He's knee deep. He's waist deep. Then all of a sudden, the man stretches out another 1,500 feet along the river. And it became rivers to swim in. Amen. It was so deep, he could not go across it unless he swam. Amen. He couldn't go across on foot. Then, he t then the man tells Ezekiel, keep in mind what I saw. And then he led me back along the bank where, to his surprise, uh-oh, say surprise. So Ezekiel's seen this incredible thing. There's ankle-deep water. There's knee-deep water. Hell, you know, there's waist-deep water. All of a sudden, it's rivers to swim in. Man, it's over his head. There's no way he could go across. Hey, Carol, how's it going? And now the angel says, you remember this, Ezekiel. And he carries him back along the bank. But to his surprise, many trees had grown up along this river bank. Okay? And uh, both sides of the river, he tells him, the river flows east through the desert and the Jordan Valley to the Dead Sea. Watch this where it will heal the salty waters and make them fresh and pure. So my friends, getting in ankle deep and being born again, going knee deep, getting filled with the Spirit, going waist deep, getting sanctified and they're closer to God, and then releasing all control and letting the river carry you in life. Amen. For see, man directs his... Uh, 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 makes his plans, but the Lord directs his steps. Can I get an amen? And so we learn to trust him with all our heart. We lean not on our own understanding. All our ways, we begin to acknowledge him. Amen. As we go deeper and deeper in him 
and it becomes, man, a rivers to swim, man. We can float in the river. We can flow in the river. I mean, God is in control, and that's what Ezekiel was seeing uh, uh, spiritually in vision, and he saw the trees, he saw the leaves, and now everywhere the river flows, it makes the salty waters fresh. In other words, the deeper you go in God, the closer you go to him. Hey, Brenda, what's up? Allison, cuz, amen. Glory to God, Carol. Hallelujah. You just become fresh. There's a freshness. There's a renewal. There's a restoration, man. You go deeper in the spirit and walk in the spirit and keep in step with the spirit, being led by the spirit, being filled with the spirit, being flooded by the spirit being touched by the Spirit. I'm telling you, walking in a relationship with the Spirit of Jesus, worshiping by the Spirit, amen, hallelujah, there's something fresh begins to happen in your life when you begin to go deeper in God and give Him control. Can I get an amen? So, uh, the, the, the waters were made fresh and pure as we draw closer to God and the Spirit all of a sudden, the righteousness of Jesus Christ begins to manifest. We begin to be pure in heart, pure in mind, pure in motive, as the river of God begins to clean us up, amen, and begins to clean us out. Shout, clean me out, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And he removes all the logs and all the debris and all the junk that's hindered our lives, amen so that his river can flow freely in our life and take us deeper, hallelujah. And so there's purity. Then everything touching the water uh, of this river shall live. Say it shall live. Say I shall live, amen, hallelujah. For the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10, 10. But Jesus said, I have come to give you life. And give it more abundantly. And he does by the power of the Holy Spirit. Having a real relationship with the Holy Spirit. And going deeper and closer. Amen. He says if you draw near to me. I will draw near to you. A couple of weeks back the Lord was ministering to me. And he just said Dan just continue to draw near. Draw near to me. And I'll draw near to you son. And I will touch you. And I will give you a greater peace a greater rest, a greater joy. You will experience me like you've never experienced me before. Oh, I know you've been following me a long time. I know you love to preach and serve and go and flow and do, but son, keep going after me. I'm telling you, if you're out there today, just keep going after and you shall live. Say, I shall live. Amen. And not die and proclaim the mighty works of the Lord. Amen. So it brings life, and it says fish will abound in the Dead Sea. For its waters shall be healed wherever this water flows. Everything will live. So not only will there be cleanness, not only will there be purity, not only will there be life, but there will be healing in this river of God. Can I get an amen? And so he looked again, and there were all kinds of fruit trees that grow along the river banks. The leaves never turn brown and fall. And there will always be fruit. There will be a new crop every month without fail. For they are watered by the river flowing from the temple. And the fruit will be food. Watch this in Ezekiel 47, 12. The fruit will be for food and the leaves for medicine. My friends, if you need healing in your life today, if you need healing in your soul today, if you need freshness, if you need renewal, I'm telling you, just go deeper in God. If you're not saved, get born again. That's cycle D. Then get filled with the Spirit. Then draw near to Him and get sanctified and set apart. And then jump out there and let Him have control. That it might be rivers to swim in. You'll have a clean heart, pure hand, clean hands and a pure heart. There'll be healing. You'll begin to bear fruit fruit that will last can i get an amen and you'll have overflowing life now in psalms 1 i want to end here it says all oh, the joys of those who do not follow evil men's advice who do not hang around with sinners scoffing at the things of god but they delight in doing everything god wants them to 
and day and night they're always meditating on his laws and thinking about ways to follow him more closely. Watch this, Psalms 1 verse 3. They're like trees along a riverbank bearing luscious fruit each season without fail. Amen. Their leaves shall never wither and all they do shall prosper. My friends, when we draw near to God, when we give our life to him, I mean, going deeper and deeper and deeper in relationship, I mean, we begin to be filled with the spirit, experience that love, experience that peace, experience that joy, experience that overflowing fullness. We become to be a, like a strong tree planted by the rivers of water. We produce fruit and season. Can I get an amen? And everything we do is prosperous and crowned with success. Why is that? Because everywhere the river flows, the man showed Ezekiel, there is life. And there is blessing in the presence of God. Can I get an amen? So lift your hands right now. Hallelujah. Hey, Ashley. And right now, just receive the anointing. Receive the blessing. Be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Amen.